What's up beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Today we're going to be talking about Shadows Over Innistrad spoilers. I have done spoilers thus far for white cards, blue cards, and black cards. Today we're going to be talking about red cards. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are doing okay. Stoked for this set. Uh, let's get talking about it. So first card we're going to talk about in absolutely no particular order. Oh, also, um, I'm not talking about every single card because that would just be like a lot of cards to talk about and I'm talking about these cards in terms of like draft purposes and like pre if you're like you know going to like a pre-release for the set or something like that so okay cool so we're first going to be talking about skin invasion so starts off as an enchantment and it's got to attack each combat so this is pretty sweet you can put this on your creature or your opponent's creature which is pretty awesome and then when that creature dies um, because if you put it on your opponent's creature and they kill it or like something like that or you put it on your own creature and then you just immediately kill it or whatever, um, then it transforms. So for one mana, you got a 3-4. What? Just, just what? This card is like so amazing. This card is like actually like so dumb and incredible and really really good. That's so sweet. Cool. Okay, then we have, um, Village Messenger. So it starts off as a 1 mana 1-1 one, one with haste, and then you get to transform it, and then it turns into a 1 mana 2-2 two, two with menace. Nothing super great, but 2-2 two, two with menace for 1 mana, yeah, that seems really sweet. I like it a lot. Okay, then we have um, Breakneck Rider. Okay, so basically it starts out as a 3 mana 3-3, three, three, which is really good, and then you get to transform it. And then it turns into a 4-3 for 3 mana, which is good. And then on top of that, attacking creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0. That's really awesome. And then on top of that, they get Trample. Um, yes, please. This card is insane. This card is super sweet. Awesome. And then we have Lightning Axe. And this card is, like, kind of laughable, actually, because it's a 1 mana burn spell, or potentially a 6 mana burn spell. Hopefully, like, you're not at that point. Um, but yeah, you know, you have Madness going on. I'm sorry, if you have, um, well, Madness as well, along with Delirium, so you discard something. It's a one mana instant speed kill spell, which can just kill a good percentage of creatures with five toughness. Um, and it's instant speed, which is just really, really good. So this card is sweet, nice removal spell. Then we have, um, Gatstaff Arsonists. Okay, so it starts off as a, as a five mana, five four which is pretty okay, and then once you transform it, it becomes a 6-5 with Menace. That's, that's pretty sweet. That's a really, really big body. This card's pretty good. Um, then we have a reprint, which is a Tormenting Voice, and this card is a really, really good card, because basically for 2 mana you get to discard something, which is really sweet, synergizes really well with Madness and Delirium, and on top of that you get to draw 2 cards for 2 mana at sorcery speed. That's like really good. This card's really sweet. And I think very much fits this set, so I like it. Then we have Voldaren Duelist. Okay, cool. So basically, for 4 mana, you get a 3-2 with haste. I'm not complaining, that's pretty good in and of itself. But on top of that, in ETBs, you can have Target Creature can't block this turn, which is really awesome. So not only is it just a pretty nice body, and it's got haste, that's really sweet, you get to make sure something of theirs doesn't get the opportunity to block this turn. This card is all around really good value, I like it a lot. I keep moving my mouse places and I can't find it. Okay. Then we have um, Fiery Temper. And basically, like, this is like Lightning Bolt, pretty much. Because for you get one mana, three damage to target creature or player. Yeah, this card is really, really insane. And it's at a common slot. Yeah, this card is super, super sweet. Then we have Magmatic Chasm. And I was, I was looking at this card and I was kind of like unsure about it because a lot of people would be like, it's a sideboard card. Here's the deal. There is a lot of flying in this set. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of flying. So, like, I think this is a really, really, really strong sideboard card to potentially maybe even want a main board. Um, because you're gonna be able to cast this card and probably pretty much just straight out just do them a ton of damage potentially kill them because you know there's so much flying in this set like there is so much so this card is going to do like a lot so i would definitely like this is like one of those cards that i would always just like keep keep if there's really nothing else in the pack for you it's a really solid sideboard card and it's at the, the common slot which is pretty great 
Uh, okay, cool. Then we have Gite Blast. And, you know, this card's pretty interesting because it's three mana, you know, for instant speed, two damage. Okay, I mean, it could be better, but it is to creature or player, which is pretty okay. But on top of that, for two and a blue, you get to exile it, and then you get to copy an instant or sorcery spell. That's really sweet. And you get to choose new targets for that spell. So you cast something, you cast like that card that we talked about that deals five damage, lightning axe or whatever. You like kill something, and then you get to copy that card again. That's like really, really amazing. This card is like pretty sweet. Awesome. Then we have Absence Judgment. And, you know, for two mana, ignoring the madness for a sec, you get to deal two damage, but you get to divide it amongst who choose. You could potentially kill two small creatures with this or whatever. However, if its madness cost is paid, you can just, you know, pay whatever for it, and then you get to just have fun and just divide damage amongst you choose with whatever. So this is a sweet top deck late game when you're all like, I've got like, eight mana, what do I do with it all? Okay, sweet, I'm gonna like cast this for its madness cost or whatever with something. This card is all around just really, really amazing. It's just, not only does it burn stuff, but it burns stuff amongst you too. If your opponent's at five health, you're like, I would like to burn you in the face for five. Like, you know, it's, or it kills just a bunch of creatures. This card is all around really good value. Okay, sweet. Then we have um, Falcon Wrath Gorger. Okay, one mana for a two one. Uh, yes, please. Regardless of whatever the, the rest of the card says, yeah, that's that's sweet. I like it. Then on top of that, you have this really sweet thing, which vampires you control have madness. So if you go to discard something, and then you're like, cool, pay it for its madness cost. This card is just really, really sweet. I like it. Awesome. Then we have um, All Riches Kindred. Okay, so let's look about th look at this. Three mana for a three two trample. I like it already. Regardless, then for four mana, you give a wolf or a werewolf indestructible. This card's not the best magic card ever. However, it's pretty solid. I like it. Okay, then we have gibbering fiend. Okay, so it ETBs, and then you get to deal one damage, and then you're left with the two one, and you're like, all right, cool. That's pretty sweet. Are you making fun of me? No, I just think it's adorable when you film how passionate you are. I think it's awesome. Stop, you're making me blush. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, awesome. Okay. Um, so then, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if you have Delirium, you get to do one damage to them. So you're like, yeah, you want to get Delirium off, and then you're left with the 2-1. Yeah, yeah, this card is really awesome. Sweet. Then we have um, Scourge Wolf. Okay, sweet. So it's it's double red, which can potentially be like a little meh. However, two mana for a two two with first strike is sweet. On top of that, if you have Delirium, it's got double strike, i.e. a two mana four four. That is some seriously good value. This card is really sweet. Do I think it deserves to be a rare? I don't, but you know that's aside from the point. Okay, then we have Vessel of Votality. Okay, so this is like flashback to like seething song, sort of, kind of. So like, people aren't really going to be running around with like that much enchantment removal, which is pretty okay, so that you can get this off. You pay you two mana, so you get it, and then two mana a second, you get four red into your pool. Yeah, this card can just chill on the field until you need it. This card's pretty okay. I've kind of like mixed feelings about the Vessel cards, but I think this one is really sweet. Then we have Sin Prodder. Okay, three mana for a 3-2 Menace. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that, that could honestly just be the card, and I'd be like, sure, okay, cool. On top of that, um, beginning of the upkeep, um, you can have, your opponent can choose to have that card go to your graveyard. Now, if that card does go to your graveyard, they're going to be taking some damage. Otherwise, you get to draw that card. This card just does everything. Like, you're like, yes, I would please love to get all this stuff into my graveyard with, for Delirium. On top of that, I would really like for you to take a bunch of damage. But then, if they do that, it's like, then you just get to, like, cast the card. It just, card is all around, like, absolutely good value. They honestly could have just made this, like, a two, a three mana, three, two without even Menace. But on top of that, it's got Menace. Just all around, this card is amazing. 
Sweet. Then we have burn from within. Okay, cool. So, you know, something, um, those, those X damage cards are, you know, pretty sweet because it's to creature or player. So again, you top up this late game and you're all like, I'm gonna burn your face for like a lot. Um, and then if something is dealt damage, it loses indestructible, which is really, really awesome. So you can get by things that are indestructible in this. There's a couple of things in the format that give, or the couple of things in this set that give it. And then on top of that, if it dies, you exile it. Okay, please do not underestimate exiling things in this set. There are so many graveyard synergies going on in this set. So like the fact that you have the opportunity to like exile something is just really, really awesome. This card is pretty sweet. And the fact that it's X damage, so it's you're not limited to doing two damage damage to it or whatever. You can just do enough damage to kill it and then it gets exiled if it dies. It's just super sweet. Okay, then we have Kessig Forge Master. Okay, cool. So basically, you know, it blocks or becomes blocks, you get to deal one damage. Okay, I like it. Then it transforms and it flips and it becomes a 3-2 for 2 mana. Sweet, I like it. And then it blocks or becomes black blocks, it deals two damage to something. So you're gonna be like throwing some damage some places, killing some creature, killing the creatures, this card's pretty great. And then last card we're gonna be talking about is uh, Gyre Reach Bandit. Okay, so um, yeah, th this card, if you're going on the whole like werewolf synergy, this is like a card that you definitely wanna look out for. So first starts out, you know, you got a three two with haste for three mana. Okay, cool, I like it. Then. You get to transform it, sweet. And then you get this 4-3 for 3 mana, which is amazing. And then on top of that, every time you have a werewolf enter, you just get to transform it. Yeah, this is like everything and more that werewolf decks look for. Like, you know, this card's sweet. Um, okay, cool guys, that was it. That was it for talking about Red's cards from Shadows of Ernestrad. Let me know what you guys are stoked for in this set, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!